Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a coin system or points or score or whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's make a game object. 3D, game op go to game object, 3D object. I'll just pick a cube as our player. Alright, and let's duplicate the cube. Command D on that Mac. Not sure what it is on Windows. Or you can go up to Edit Duplicate. And let's just call this Coin. And then rename the cube to Player. Alright, let's just drag the coin in a little bit with the transform position. Okay, and let's make it smaller. Let's do 0. Point Four across the board. Okay, and let's go down to create a new material. Create material. Call it coin. And let's just leave a shader at standard and give it a yellow color. Was, uh, gold or something. I go back to your coin object in the hierarchy and go down to materials. What the heck is that? Alright, uh, go to materials or element zero is and click on it to pull up this and select the coin material. Alright, so you got a piece of gold and since we're on the coin right now, go up to tag, add a tag, press the cross or addition icon to add a tag, name it coin, Get to exit out just click coin or a different game object or something. Okay, and I go back up to tag and choose coin. Okay, and then go to game object. I mean go to coin and go to box collider and tick the mark that says is trigger. That's going to allow us to walk through it and give us a point. It's going to trigger an event. Alright. Now I'm going to add the move script that I've already created to the player. Okay. Uh, let's give it a speed of three, I guess. Now I'm going to pull up the move script for you guys who haven't seen the video, and you can pause it and uh, go through that script so you don't have to go check out the other video. But if you want to check out the other video, you can go find it. It's like 10 minutes long, I think. All right, so the player should move. Let's test it. Okay, our player is moving. Cool. Now I just need to add a new script. Go to create, two short script. Call it coin. Open it up. All right, I'm going to leave the move script right here. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to check out the script. Uh, it will make the cube or the player move for you by using the arrow keys. So just create a script and call it move and copy this and add it to the cube object and give it a speed. Alright, let's get back to the video. Let's go to our coin script. Let's give it a public int of coin value okay and since we know we're just we're going to do one point it's uh, one coin value so in start just do coin value equals one this gives the coin a value of one 
And if you don't know what any of this means, go check out my other videos and explains what public means. It explains what int means. All my videos are usually less than 10 minutes long. I think it's under variables and stuff. All right, so we got a public int coin value, and we got a coin value that equals one at the start of the game. Cool. All right, now we're gonna need to be able to see that we get a point with some text or UI or whatever. So type in using Unity Engine dot UI semicolon allows you to use the Unity UI. And I just realized I did not zoom in for you guys. Let me fix that for you. Okay, cool. I'm going to go back to the new script real quick just so they can pause it. All right, here you go, guys. So pause that, learn how to do it, or copy and paste it to make your character move. Okay, I'm going back to the coin script. All right. So now we can use the UI from Unity. All right, let's declare a public text. Call it, uh, we'll call it score text, I guess. Text that will show the score. Okay. And then in the update function, we're going to say score text dot text equals our coin value. Dot to stream. Let me type out what it does for you. It converts a number, like an integer, float, double, or whatever, to a string, so you can print it out by using text. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, and actually, at start, we're going to make it zero. And when you collide with the cube, it's going to give you a point. Okay? Cool. All right, and now we're going to make a function called own trigger enter, open parentheses, type in collider, and then the word other, close parentheses, open and close brackets, and we got to type void. Okay, and this does this. We type it out first. Trigger event. Player will cause a trigger event if it collides with the other game object. So when the player moves onto the coin it's going to trigger something. That's what this does. Alright, so let's start with an if statement. We're going to do other right here, other. We're given a reference 
So if the other uh, game object that you touch has a tag, and we made a tag for the coin that was called coin. If the other dot game object dot tag equals, remember we used two equal signs for if statements. Uh, we got to use a string uh, coin. Okay, so if the other dot game object tag is or equal to coin, then we're going to set our coin value to add a value of one. So coin value equals coin value plus one. Adds a value of one to itself. Cannot type. Wow. Okay. That should do it, I think. Let's try it out. Save it. Hope we don't get any errors. Alright, let's add the coin script onto the player. Alright, coin value is zero at the start. Coin score text. We don't have a score text. To create that, you go to game object. UI, type in, click text. This is going to pop up on the screen for you. Let's make it a little bit bigger by going to font size. Cool. And let's backspace on that. And let's just type in zero for now. You can give it a color if you want to. I'll give it a color of red. And to make it more pretty, go to your middle and center button right here, anchors, and do top left of the screen, so it'll anchor, and then drag your X on the transform over. And drag it up some more. And just give it a better name like score text. And we're going to drag score text to our score text uh, field that's open right here on the coin. Okay, and it should be it. Coin has its trigger ticked we're using on trigger. Let's try it out. Nothing's happening. Coin is trigger box collider. There might have to be a rigid body on one of these. Your body is chromatic, doesn't use gravity. There you go, you got a point right here. You got a point for touching the coin. All right, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? All right, say you wanted to delete the coin after you touched it. You can just, um, let's see here, touch it, and then right here, type destroy, open parentheses, this dot game object destroys or deletes. No, this will delete your your player. We don't want to do that. We want to destroy the other game object. So 
Okay, you can use other because you're referencing other. Okay, so let's save that, save all. And let's just make some du duplicates of the coins. Okay. Now play it. They should disappear. Yep, there you go. And just for giggles, let's uh, turn on gravity. And see if we can catch them. Oh! Terrible. Well, you got one of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, add comments, suggest videos, beginning videos on what to do, contact me or whatever. Uh, thanks guys.